Fam, what's up with it? What it do? And shout out and thank you to all my new subscribers, man. We on our way to a million subscribers. The channel's growing. Very motivated. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the views and the shares. And without you, it would not be possible. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And let's keep pushing this truth. This story is courtesy of True Crime Daily. Arkansas mom accused of fatally shooting son during argument over stuck lawnmower. And this is Tabitha Peebler, who actually killed her son over a stuck lawnmower. Now let's get into the details and see exactly what transpired. Fulton County, Arkansas. A 43-year-old mother is accused of shooting and killing her son after they allegedly got into an argument because she was stuck on the line more. According to the probable cause affidavit, on May 31st, Tabitha Peebler contacted the Fulton County Sheriff's Office to report she shot her son, Brandon Crisco. She reportedly informed investigators that she was mowing her lawn and got stuck. Peebler allegedly asked Crisco to help get the mower unstuck, but Crisco was upset having to help to get the mower unstuck. She reportedly became stuck a second time, at which point Crisco allegedly called his mother a bitch. After that, he reportedly pushed her off the line more. The affidavit says Peebler walked to her car and picked up her pistol from the console. Peebler reportedly took the short way to the vehicle while Crisco walked the longer route to the car. Peebler reportedly fired warning shots at him as he continued to approach her, and she pulled the trigger again as he got closer. Peebler reportedly struck her son in the upper left part of his chest, and the bullet passed through his body. She allegedly told investigators she was not meaning to kill him, she just wanted to scare him and stop. Peebler was arrested June 5th on the charge of second-degree murder and was released after posting $25,000 bond. Wow, her bond was only $25,000 after killing her son? Ah, oh, man, I try to tell you, you know, you read these stories like this and they make you wonder in your head, how can you kill your own child? You know, especially like that. They didn't say how old her son was. He was obviously old enough to help get her, uh, get her off the lawnmower and push her off the lawnmower, which I really also think is very disrespectful, and to call your mom out of a name like that. But I don't think, you know, calling your mom out of a name like that and even pushing your mom, which I don't condone, two things I've never done in my life and never would, re should result in the mother taking her son's life like that. It's just a tragic situation all the way around. May that young man rest in peace. And um, I don't even understand how the judge gave her just a $25,000 bond. But what do y'all think about that, YouTube? Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.